Hey everyone, Adam here, and I just wanted to share with you something that I just learned um, this morning. Uh, it's going to make your life, if you're a digital marketer, if you're with a small, medium, large business uh, doing social media, nonprofits, educational institutions, or if you're just independent and you want to up your game, uh, you definitely want to have consistent branding, which means you probably need a style guide, which means you need a color palette and uh, consistent fonts that you're going to use. And um, sometimes the challenge is keeping everything consistent when you're on different templates and different platforms. DesignBold has a super easy solution. So I'm going to show you how to use that right now. First, go to DesignBold, log in. Well, I'm already logged in, so I'll go ahead and go to My Designs. On the left, you'll see personalization. And that's what we want. My colors and my fonts. It's so easy to add a new color. So if you're creating your style guide for the first time, you can manually select colors and play around with them. But uh, you can also add a hex code. So for an example, uh, I'm going to go to Harvard Business School style guide. They make it really easy because they provide all of their colors right here with hex codes. Um, and your company may have a similar style guide, your nonprofit, whatever it is. So here's that Harvard Crimson. I'm going to go ahead and add that in just by copying and pasting the hex code. There it is. Really easy. Let's try a couple more. I like this cool gray. So copy, add, paste. There it is. Oh, it's so easy. And because it's so fun, I'm just going to do one more. I'm not sure what this is called, but it's a nice little blue-green. Okay. There it is. Uh, so now that I have my colors, when I go to a design, um, I can easily select from those colors because they're right here, my colors. Okay. Here, let's do it again. I think that uh, crimson looks nice at the top of this resume. Oh, and by the way, I should probably add my own photo because I'm not Sarah Marth. Um, and I should add my name. All right, here we go. Uh, now, there's one issue, though. <clears throat> this font is not consistent with Harvard Style Guide. So I'm going to want to fix that. Going back to Harvard Style Guide, we can see that they have, for their font, Trade Gothic. They use Trade Gothic for its modern sensibilities. Okay, now there are thousands of free fonts that you could find online, and so what I did is I just went to Google and searched for Trade Gothic and got a free download. Thousands that you can get. Uh, here it is. It's so simple. Just drag and drop and make sure you have the rights to use that font. Ah, oh, that was quick. Okay, nice. All right, so here it is. You can see I have Trade Gothic, um, and now it's ready to be used in my designs. So if I go back to my design, again, clicking on whatever text that I want to change, there it is. And you can organize all of your uploaded fonts right here in My Fonts. There we go. Now, with uh, a professional account, you can have up to 30 custom fonts. And with a team account, you can have up to 50. And you can actually delete fonts at any time uh, and upload new ones. That's no problem. So. Yeah, in just a few minutes, I was able to style my resume using Harvard's brand characteristics. I think that's really cool, and I hope it'll make your life much easier as you're creating content uh, for whatever type of organization you work for or if you're independent. It's such a great tool. It could not be easier uh, to keep your fonts and color schemes consistent, and again, when I move to a different type of design, for example, a Facebook post, all of my colors and all of my fonts will be right there within clicking distance. Easy to use. All right, thanks, guys. Adam for Design Bold signing off.